Hey, this is Scott. We're going to create a panorama image out of a set of series of images taken around the Jefferson Memorial in Washington, D.C. Let's go ahead and set this up. I have Photoshop CS4 open. I'm going to click on File, come down here to where it says Automate. So File, Automate. From the Automate menu, you're going to choose Photo Merge. Click on Photo Merge, and the Photo Merge dialog box opens up. I'm just going to leave it on the Auto Settings. What we're going to do now is browse for the files that are going to make up my panorama. I'm going to come over here. And you can see I can also just choose a folder. If you took all the series of photos and just place them in a folder, you can choose that one folder. But I'm going to choose files. I'm going to click on the browse button. I'm going to find my files here. And I stuck them all in the panorama folder. It's not necessary. You can just go find them from your my pictures folder if you want to. But let's take a look at how this looks. You can see um, I was just standing around the lake that's in front of the Jefferson Memorial and I just started snapping pictures. The tripod would be nice, but I didn't use one. And turning your camera off, it's auto settings so that it automatically doesn't adjust um, the different settings for the lighting and whatnot would be nice. But I didn't do any of that. I had my camera set on auto. I just stood there and took pictures and made sure that each image overlapped the other by about 30%. So here's my series of images. I'm going to go ahead and single click on one and do a control A to select all of the files. So I'm going to select all the files there. And, and uh, you can either do it that way or maybe you still have it on list. You just highlight all your files. Whatever way you best want to select all your files. I'm going to click on OK. You can see they've now been placed inside my source files area. Down below you can see I have different options. I'm just going to leave them on the default options. Blend images together. That's fine. Once you're all done with this, you're just going to click OK. And you are going to sit back. And Photoshop is going to start flipping through the files. Creating layer masks and rearranging the locations of each file in order to create our panorama. And you can see there's one of the images. What it's doing, it's automatically opening up all of the images. Let's go ahead and move up my layered palette here to see if you can see what's happening better. We'll do it in just a minute. So it's uh, see now um, seaming the image together and it's, it's believe it or not, it's all done. So my image has just been created. You can see it here. You can see a little bit of transparency around the edges. Okay, but that's okay. We, we can change that here in just a minute. So um, what we're looking at is a little bit of transparency around the edges indicated by that checkered marked area and in my layered palette you can see it took every single image placed it on its own layer rearranged it and created some layer masks in order to seamlessly blend it with the other photographs so th th this is nice and by the way I'm only looking at this at 30 percent of its size or about 38 percent of its size if I double click the zoom tool I'll zoom in to see it at 100% of its size. And if I hold down my space key, I can walk around the image and see that, yes, it did a really decent job of blending all those photos together into a panorama. I'm going to double click my hand tool now to get it to my working window. But the problem still exists that I have this kind of crazy looking checkered boarded transparency around the edges. Well, I could fix this a couple ways. One, is simply get my crop tool with the crop tool place a crop around the image being careful not to go into the transparent regions and just hit your inner key when I do that you can see yes it cropped and created this nice panorama and clean that up but it also cropped off the top of the Washington Memorial so I'm gonna undo it um, control Z or command Alt Z on the Mac to undo that I'm going to go to my layers palette and I'm going to take all these layers I'm going to merge them into a single layer and they're already all selected so I just need to right click and depending on where you right click if you right click over here you're going to get different options if you right click on the layer thumbnail and if you right click out to the right hand side near the name of the image and what you're going to choose is um, flatten image or you can say merge layers I'll just choose merge layers and you can see I've just merged all the layers into a single layer and now what I can do is I can free transform that layer so I'm going to get my uh, move tool my black arrow tool here I'm going to do a control T or command T on the Mac 
to bring up uh, my free transform controls and then I'm gonna right click on this and choose warp it brings up my warp tool now what's cool about this is you have these little handles and you can just pull the various areas out to create the panoramic effect you want to be kind of careful here because you don't want to distort the photo you want to be a little bit careful here so I'm going to keep the Washington Memorial in place you see I'm just pulling the different handles out making my panorama fit the canvas pull that out just a little bit it's great you also can control it within in the middle here there we go move that down maybe kind of move the memorial straighten that up a little bit and we're all done hit your inner key to accept the free transform and we've just created a great panorama from a series of images cleaned it up and now we have a single image that we can hang on the wall or do whatever we want with and you can see what a great job Photoshop did of gluing that picture together of blending that picture together pretty amazing